so I'm hoping the Oscars music will start playing when my time is up. <laughs> I would like to start off by congratulating Brittany, Beth, and Monica, the 77-78 men's basketball team, the GOAT Jean Doris, and most importantly, Tucker Nathans, the ultimate matchmaker and a huge reason why my husband Tyler, also class of 2012, and I are together today. It is an honor to be recognized with such a talented group of people and athletes. I also have to thank the two most important people in my life who are here with me today. Tyler, thank you for your unwavering support and for believing in me more than I believe in myself. Mom, thank you for all that you have sacrificed to provide me with opportunities to get to where I am today. Fun fact about my mom, she used to wear the same pink sweater to every game for good luck. And thankfully, she has that same pink sweater tonight. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank Jim O'Brien for giving me the incredible opportunity to attend Fairfield and Sean Driscoll for his mentorship and friendship since my U13 soccer days. I would not be here today without their support. It feels good to be home, and Fairfield truly is home. Typically, most people leave college after four years. Not only did I stay for two more years as a graduate assistant, but then I stayed for yet another year as an assistant coach for a total of seven years in paradise. I loved every minute of my experience. While soccer was the driving force behind coming and staying for so long, I have a deep appreciation for all aspects of life here at Fairfield, especially the Dolan School of Business. During my junior year, I decided to switch majors from marketing to finance because I thought I would make more money. No, I am now a teacher. <laughs> but so much of my passion for teaching stems from my experience as a student in the business school. Currently, I teach at Westminster a boarding school in Simsbury, Connecticut. It is no wonder, wonder that I ended up at Westminster, a small, close-knit community that puts people and relationships first, a place so similar to Fairfield. What I've come to realize is that while I physically left Fairfield after many years, I've taken many pieces of it with me. As my good friend Tessa reminded me, home isn't the place we physically inhabit, but rather the histories and memories that inhabit us. So much of Fairfield still lives in me. I am glad that Tyler and I have found ways to remain connected to Fairfield. We are so proud that his younger brother, Owen, class of 2021, attended Fairfield for his fifth year. Shout out to Fairfield Baseball for their historic 2021 season and College World Series regional run. We are also beyond excited to each have our first Westminster players committed to play baseball and soccer at Fairfield in 2024. How lucky are they? I am thankful that I have found a career that allows me to continue my love and passion for soccer. Soccer and all that comes with it shaped me into the person I am today, and I'm honored that I can provide that same opportunity to so many young women. Fairfield has given me a lifelong gift that I can now share with others. The power of coaching cannot be underestimated. We as coaches can change lives. Well, I'm sure my time is up here, and all I really want to say in the end is thank you. I'm forever indebted to Fairfield, the women's soccer program, and the Dolan School of Business, and little by little, I promise to give back all that has been given to me. Thank you, and go stacks.